Are you ready for the country? Because it's time to sow. I don't know if I can actually use that song. But I'm gonna try. So, we are in a bucolic setting for the weekend with our friends. And our friends have two amazing children. And their amazing dad built them an amazing tree fort. And I thought, this looks like the perfect place to hem a dress. So that's what I'm doing. The kids are also away for like the next hour, so I gotta get on it before they come back and take their tree fort back. So let's sew a hem. Simple question that I get asked a lot. You can also do this by machine, but if you want it to look extra special, which I pretty much always do, you can use a slip stitch. Now, I have brought with me <laughs> this super pretty self-drafted dress that I self-drafted because I really wanted this McCall's pattern but I wasn't near a Joann's at the time so I self-drafted it and then I realized I already had the pattern in my stash so wah, wah. I've thrown some horse hair in the hem which I will tell you about in another video it's just a nice little something that makes your hem stiffer and stand out more and gives it a little extra oomph I'll tell you about that later though whenever I, I travel somewhere I like to bring my Coutrement. Got my needles, got my pins, got my handy little nub for hand stitching. It just sticks onto your finger right there. Okay, first tip. When you are unrolling your thread from the school, you want to thread your needle in the orientation that your thread is coming off of the spool. This end that's coming off the spool is the front end of my thread, which should be threaded through the eye of the needle. If you thread it backwards, you're gonna run into more knots and such in your needle while you're hand stitching. And if you thread it the correct way, you can get away with not having to use beeswax, which I'll tell you, if uh, you decided to bring your sewing to your friend's house for the weekend and took over their kids tree fort and maybe didn't bring everything with you like beeswax this is a way to get around that clip that thread at an angle you want a nice nice little point to go through the eye of that needle thread that needle mm -hmm. end of the thread don't be grossed out sewing people do that all the time spool it around your finger pull it to make the knot we're ready to go. <laughs> Hi, Rob. <laughs> Hi, Marcy. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm talking with my friends. How are you? Uh huh. Good. I'm showing them how to thread a needle. Good. It's one of the main things you have to do in sewing. Drinking's the other. Nice. I've got my handy tree fort helping me out. My tree fort is my sewing assistant today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a few pins in this hem so that I just have a nice flat surface to work with. A lot of people will tell you, and they're kind of right, you should do all of your sewing on a nice flat surface. But when you can do your sewing in a tree fort, you give a little to get a little. Let me, let me get closer to you. Start my stitch just under the hem. Now I'm using a thread that matches really well, which I didn't used to do. I used to use contrasting thread because I thought it's so cool to see the thread. And now I look at my older garments and I'm like, why did I do that? It's actually way classier to use matching thread. Now you're just going to pick up one little speck of your skirt fabric. Just like a couple of teeny tiny threads because you don't want this stitch to show through on the skirt portion of your fabric on the outside. You're going to move your needle about a quarter inch to a half inch away from that first little stitch underneath the folded edge of the hem. Pull that through 
and then pick up another just barely couple of threads right above where you just inserted the needle under the folded hem edge. If you go larger than that, say because you decide you want to save some time and take some great big galumphing stitches across your hem, you're going to run into trouble if you decide to wear like say a pair of heels with your dress and maybe, I don't know, dance at your friend's wedding, walk around the city streets, pretty much just live your life because your heel, if your heel is smaller than the circumference or the width of your stitch, your heel is going to catch in to your hem. Ask me how I know. Oh, this is how I know. I once did the national tour of West Side Story. I was playing Maria and there's that scene, you know, where Maria like runs up to Tony and she's like, killer, killer, killer. And she's beating his chest and oh man, she falls to the floor and she can't believe what just happened. He killed her brother. Well, I was wearing character shoes, which are heels. I was wearing my I Feel Pretty Act Two dress and uh, they had taken some great big galumphing stitches in that hem in order to, well, I don't know, probably to save some time because listen, it's a costume shop. They had a lot of stuff to do and probably they had to fix the hem pretty quick because I'm pretty rough on my clothing. Anyway, I ran for killer, 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 threw my legs up in the air, heel caught in it, and I went down on both knees, like down, like like football player down. And Tony just kind of looked at me like, and I was like, thanks for catching me. Now, I didn't sew at the time, so I didn't know that this was the problem. But later on, when I learned how to sew and I started stitching my own hems and taking great big galumphing stitches because I wanted to save time, my heels started catching in the hem and I realized that was the problem. And then my world was set right again. I'm gonna get back to sewing this hem. Good story. I'm not gonna lie, this stitch takes a little bit of time, but you can see on the outside, it's nice and pretty. You don't have a line of machine stitching going across it, you just have a clean hem finish. Now, I gotta get this on and take some pictures of it before the kids get back home. Hi guys! Hi! Sorry I took over your tree fort! Hi! Hi. They're coming, they're coming. They're home. Hi. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's thing one. Hi, I'm Hi. 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 <laughs> and that was thing two. Yeah, this is this is my girl. All right, I'm gonna go take some pictures. You ready to help me take some pictures? Hi! And there he is! <laughs> Hi! They're, 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 they're my sewing assistants now. Okay, bye. <laughs>